Hello everybody, welcome back to Terraria. Alright, last episode we went and found one chest. We died several times. We ran into the infamous green slime. And we, all we got was the angry uh, guy to plant fiber cordage. Yay. I need some more chests so I can put some more stuff in it. I like uh, organizing all my things. Right now I only got the one chest. So I think today we're going to go and uh, go to the left. Since we know what's on the right. If you look, watch my videos for my first one. You'll know that on the right here we got the corruption. So I can't go that way right now. Why did I put the money in here? Guys. Alright, we're going to be putting this in the piggy bank. For sure. I like keeping them organized. I put copper, silver, gold, and then platinum. Want all the platinum. Alright. Let's go to the left. We're going to go do some exploration. We need some more stuff. Man, I, I seem like I'm moving so slow. Alright. I do have a bug net, don't I? Where did I even put Did I put it up? There's something I want to do later on. I don't think it's going to be this episode. But I want to go fishing at the ocean. There's a, uh, a really good thing you can catch out of the ocean. And I'll keep it a secret right now. Because I make sure to catch this item. It's very useful. And it saves on a lot of materials later on. But like I said, I'll keep it a secret until I get to the episode I want to do it. And I want to do it soon, too. That's why I bought the fishing net. Let's get out of here. Let's fill in some of this. I don't want a hole in my ground there. Okay, let's go get that fishing net real quick. I just got me some extra iron. Alright. Look, a bunny. Oh, a bunny. If you, if you got a, a net and you see a golden animal, catch it. There's like a rare chance of getting a golden animal. And these golden animals are worth 10 gold each. Where's my net? There you are. I'll go ahead and carry that around with me for sure. Can I turn that iron into anything else? Yes. Uh, ten. Let's turn these into bars. That's ten, and there's iron. There's a second set or second item you find when it comes to metals. It's better than copper. Let's go ahead and pick this stuff up so I can. I got a furnace, so for sure I can go ahead and make me some iron bars. And those awful tin bars. About 12. Ah, uh, rain. Well, let's see what I can build with this. Should I get an iron... Uh, iron pickaxe, maybe? It's only 40. This is 35, minus 1 range. That's 10. It's only one damage. I don't know if it's worth the cost. But I want to make a chain, definitely. Can't really build much. I can make a reinforced fishing rod. How much does that cost? 8. And how much does this cost? 12. I don't have enough for both. Alright, we're going to save it for now. I definitely need a fishing rod, especially if I'm going to go to the ocean. Now i got some chains, and those do come in handy. Actually, since i got chains, can I go ahead and make a saw? So I can make a bed. Let's do something real fast here. I'm going to start building this. Okay. Let's put down these. Go ahead and make some more. There we go. I'll favorite those. Hit an alt. 
Alright. Well, I got a net, so I can go ahead and catch some worms. You need a lot of bait because it, the thing I'm talking about in the ocean is a bit rare. It takes a while to catch. But it's worth it, though. Yeah, I was going to see if I can go ahead and build the sawing table. Or the saw table. Let's find out. Yep, there we go. This takes, what, one chain. And then you go here, and you could probably make a bed. But you need the webs for this. To, oh, you can't make the bed. You need the loom first. Let's look at the loom. Uh, there you are. There we go, guys. Now I can make cloth. Right here. How much does it cost for 30? Dang. Ooh, and I got a warding one, too. Sweet. This is for the yo-yo. It allows you to uh, increase the yo-yo's range. And I'm thinking about going ahead and building a yo-yo. I can't remember how much silk it takes to make a bed. Let's get one. And I'll show you what the guide does. You talk to the guide. He'll have options here. He'll You get help. He'll tell you random things that might help you out at the start. And crafting. You go to crafting. He'll have this window. You put the item in the window. And it tells you everything this item can make. So if I go here. Okay. So I'm looking for a bed. Here's a bed. And it costs 15 wood and 5 silk for a bed. Roughly. And this is the original bed right here. So 15 wood, 5 silk. Okay, how much does it cost to make one silk? It costs seven. And one more. There we go. I just don't know where to put a bed right now. Hmm. What I can do is go up here. Or not. I stuck on the workbench. There we go. Go ahead and build. Go through all this list just to get these. Okay. I'm going to build a second floor here. So I can put rooms here. I need to, I need to widen the bottom floor. For sure. Hope I hear a star. Well, there's some more iron right here. Did you guys see that? That star showed me the way. That's a big patch of iron, too. Look at this. It is awesome. I wouldn't have seen that if I, that star didn't fall right there. I didn't even see it during the daytime. Yeah, I need that other pickaxe. Yeah, because some people can say that that particular pickaxe I want to get from the the ocean, as your spoilers, is game-breaking, especially at the beginning. But it saves on so many resources later on. I'll go ahead and turn these to bars. I don't know if this is worth the 12 bars. It only goes up by 5%. I have no idea if that's even worth it. I'm saying it's not worth it, to be honest with you. Let's put these up right now. Let's put my cobwebs up. I want to build a bed, but I don't even know anywhere to put it right now. Let's dig out this bottom piece. Like I said in the last episode, I'm gonna, usually underneath my house I'll build a chest room where I can organize all my items. And you get a lot of items in this game. A lot. So I organize everything. And I usually try to keep at least one of every item. Alright, let's go ahead and build a bed since I got the option. 
Now I can set my spawn. I'll set it down here for now. Can I not set my spawn? Oh no, you can't. You have to have a background. And no, this dirt don't count. So let's go ahead and take this up. And you can't destroy the background. Like, see where I can hit it up here, but I can't hit it down here. You have to start from the surface down. It doesn't work any other way. You can't just break it whenever you want. That would be kind of cheaty if you're trying to save yourself from enemy spawns and whatnot. So that's why they didn't allow you to do that. I want to I know if, uh, if you like this playthrough of Terraria. I was thinking about putting on the same days I'm recording Terraria after I'm done with Terraria. I was going to do modded Terraria probably way in the future. I want to start out with vanilla, but I want to ask you guys you guys are going to be watching this video If you like this content should I put Starbound on my channel on these same days after the trade is done. I do like Starbound Might do that, but leave in the comments if you guys would want to see that All right, yeah, I don't have enough walls These walls it takes so many uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, I actually have enough for this. That yeah, is awesome, dude. Awesome. Welcome to my bedroom in the cellar. See? You click on it. Spawn set. Uh, spawn point set. So every time I die, I'll spawn down here. Okay. Let's put my net back. Let's put some of this stuff back. So I got two stars. I'm almost there for... I don't need this up here, but I'm almost there for the uh, another mana star. Oh, I see some bait. Let's go get it. And look at this. I need to grab these up, but I got plenty of time right now. You really need to worry about it in hard mode. All the stuff that you want to prepare for. Because after you hit hard mode, the corruption and this new biome that'll be added called the Hallow will start to spread across the surface of your world. And the one you don't want the most is corruption. This sword just does not do any damage. I need some damage here. Hmm. I don't know if I should go ahead and get. I need more materials though. Why is it always nighttime every time I want to leave? I swear the nighttime lasts two or three times longer than daytime. But I want to get on this adventure, guys. I need to get on this adventure so I can start looking for some new stuff. Maybe towards the end of the video, we'll go a little bit of splunking, a little bit of cave exploration. But I want to go off to the the left here to see what we can find. For sure. I need to go look for chests. I want to see if the dungeon's on this side. There's a place we call the dungeon. It's probably past the corruption. Or the, uh, yeah, the corruption. Golly, these guys have a lot of health. You drop your raincoat. Uh those guys have a chance of dropping a raincoat. Let me turn that off. Smart cursor. Oh, look at this. Look what we found, guys. I see how I'm picking up these vines. Yeah, it becomes rope instantaneously. You don't have to have rope itself. So you always have some option of rope. Do you see all those stars up there? That is worth it, actually. But it won't even get time to actually pick them up. Oh, come on, man. It's always got to be these arrow ones. The arrow ones got like a million health. Exaggerating a bit there, but still a lot. And for some reason, you knock back just enough so you are still in the way when I jump. Who's this iron? 
Heck yeah, it is. It's right on the surface, too. It could be a floating island up there. I know I say that almost all the time. I wouldn't guarantee 10 having a floating island above it if it's on the surface, but if iron or anything better, could. Uh, we haven't even checked this chest yet. It's just a million zombies a second here. Catch these fireflies. Not the best bait, but they are still bait. Pretty soon we're going to go to the ocean. We're going to make a whole episode of it. Just sitting there fishing. Trying to catch this particular item. I like how knockback. This sword has zero knockback. It's so bad. Wow. Wow. Why is that, not, that one not getting hit? Just so dang zombies, man. Right, let's build a box. There we go. Now that can't get to me. Ha! Ah, oh, really? You serious? It's the same exact thing I already got. Now that's a disappointment, guys. Man. Let's see how much I don't even know how much it'll be worth to sell. Probably not much. Oh well. Look at that, there's some more iron right there. Let's go down the dark, dark, dank caves. Oh, there's a slime up there. Look there. Look, guys. Every chest. Am I cursed? I'm cursed. Why? Seriously, guys, why? Why am I getting three? I've never even found three of those before in the same world. That is awful. Every chest, man. Every chest. What? What the? Why did you jump at me like that? I've never seen them jump at me like that before. Get that word. Alright. The next chest better not have one, or we're stopping this this let's play. We're gonna start a new one. <laughs> My gosh, guys, that's like the most unlucky thing I've ever seen. It's just I've never seen that happen before. Having a three same the same thing over and over again the chests. I've never even seen two of those in one world. Oh, this got some iron. I should dig my way to this iron. It's a bit far though. What if, I, if there's a chest up here and if it has that same thing in it, I won't be so upset, guys. No chest up here. It'll probably have the same thing anyways. Let's go ahead and build some more of these torches. Definitely need more. And let's build this mana star. I can build a second. Nice. You can have you can have up to ten stars, guys. All right. Is this ten or more iron? I am getting lucky with the iron really close on the surface. That is something awesome. Let's put a torch up here. Yeah, that, that's definitely iron. I am getting lucky with this, but the chests have been real disappointing. Real disappointing, guys. Let's put away my money before I lose it. Okay, quick stack. Yeah, this is awful. This favorite, my bait. Where's my fireflies? Oh, there. And let's put the rest of this junk away you stupid slime they knocked me up into the air enough so I would get stuck on my own platforms what a what an awesome guy all that iron all right let's get out of this cave the disappointment cave Three chests and it's all the same thing. 
but I found it first. And something gave me bad luck, guys. Something gave me bad luck. Let me guess the next chest will be the same thing. Yeah, well, if it, if it is, we'll just stop this let's play and start again. We'll just call this the ultimate failure. No, uh, we wouldn't do that. Because all the chests underground. Oh, those are probably the ones that's worth it. Just made it. Let's go up to this day bloom. More shrooms and ice biome. More snow biome. And more iron. Look at all this. I haven't seen this much iron on the surface at all before. You just always find little patches of it, but not like huge patches. It just goes and goes. So I'm pretty lucky on the iron part. Uh oh, the most infamous enemy in the game right here. Yep, he put up. Aww. Oh. Look what we got, guys. We got corruption again on both sides. So every time I want to go to the ocean or get to anywhere else, I have to make it across all this. I don't have any way to get across it either. It's probably best to have the hook shot or the uh, grappling hook. It makes it easier to get across this stuff. Well, let's go, go, go. Before stuff starts spawning. I've never, I, in a very, very long time, I have not seen a, uh, a snow biome that is not connected to at least a crimson or a corruption biome. For some reason, it's, it's how they are now. I like to have a, a clean snow biome. And we made it through that corruption just fine, guys. And always remember, when you get a chance, put away your money that you got. Especially if you're going, knowing that you might have a chance to to die on the on the way, like when you're exploring or something. Make sure you put your money away, so you don't drop it. Oh, that was a disappointment. Oh, you see this cave, guys? This is special. This right here. This is real special. Alright. You see this tunnel? It's like a straight line. That means something. Let's go. And I hope I get something really good out of this. Probably be nothing. But this right here, if you see this on the surface, dig down. <clears throat> dig down into it and you'll see why. Oh gosh. There it is. You'll see a room that looks like this has water on both sides and you see this rock with a sword in it it's the sword and a stone reference and then you break it actually let's get rid of this guy first the ultimate boss all right wish me luck guys and there's a strange plant that was a strange plant right there i got the enchanted sword look at that damage guys this cactus junk can be forever gone look oh yeah I got lucky dudes but there's something else has a really rare chance I've never even found it but I know it exists there's a real real rare, rare chance to get another sword out of that that uh, sword in the stone and it's called the Archalis yeah I've never gotten it before so but it's really it's like really short range but the it has such extreme rapid attack that's what makes it special but I got the enchanted sword I am happy with this guys you just make sure you carry some blocks or you get some rope and you just head on back up but yeah make sure when you see that one block wide opening that's a straight line that usually have some bumps coming out the sides like this it is worth it and they will spawn randomly on the surface a small world has one, I think, or maybe two, but they're not always going to be what you, you know, be an enchanted sword. They could just be nothing. I got lucky and got an enchanted sword, guys. 
this makes up for those two crappy chests or three cap crappy chests I've seen so far. Well, look at that iron right there, guys. Oh, another chest. Look at this. See how this just... And another chest. And more iron. Guys. Man, we are getting lucky. We should have just came up this way. See, I would have seen it anyways. Because this cave leads right to it. Now we got the umbrella. The umbrella is pretty cool. I don't usually use it. But it allows you to slow fall if you hold it in your hands. Let's put these back up here. I'm going to favorite these items. Alright, yeah, this allows you to slow fall. So you don't get killed by uh, falling damage. But you have to be equipped. It has to be equipped to work. That looks like gold. What is that? I'm confused. What is this? Is this just iron? It just looks weird. Does it not look weird to you guys? It looks brighter. It is just iron. Okay. Oh. Ultimate boss has been defeated. One shot. Did you see the damage on this sword? It's 24. Awesome. I'm happy with that. That just made my day, guys. Even though those chests have been really disappointing, especially the first three, I get an enchanted sword. Some luck came out of it after all, right? But that enchanted sword will carry me a while. I don't need to waste uh, anything on another, you know, weapon. Not for a while. It won't last forever. Like, uh, what? You serious? This is worth it though. It gives you random seeds. Which could come handy. You could get some seeds that you, you haven't found yet that's hard to get. Like hell stuff. Hmm, a boomerang. I think you could turn that wooden boomerang into a more powerful boomerang later on. Or it could just be the enchanted boomerang. Let's see if is it a material. No, you can't do anything with this one. It'll have a, a thing called a material in the list. Nothing I got is a material. That is the bottle. See how it says material under can be placed? Yeah, if it says that, it means it can be made into something else. Alright, let's get this iron and head on that out of here. And keep going to the, the left there and see what else we find. I can't believe I found two umbrellas, man. I don't even use the umbrella, but I find two of them. Oh, sorry, squirrel. Oh, purple. Purple slime. It'll be cool if I find another one of these enchanted places. But there's some of those caves with the uh, that has the sword in it, or has a chance to. Sometimes it'll be down here in this dark area. So sometimes it's... I don't know how... Uh, there's like certain weapons that'll like shoot out particle effects. Wanda Sparking does that. But you can like get these, see how it has these sparkling effects that go down, but this one don't. You need like certain weapons that'll shoot down like that. So you can brighten up some of this dark area. Because sometimes the entrance to the enchanted sword cave is past in that black area and you just, it's hard to see. I got lucky on that one guys when I found this one, it was just right on the surface. Which usually don't happen. Sometimes that cave goes down pretty far. Alright, what else is down here? Any goodies? Any chests? Anything at all? No, just pots. Could have given me another uh, portal. Alright, let's put down this. And let's do quick, do quick stack. I got 13 gold again. Nice. Look at all the iron ore. 96. Let's put this stuff away. Yeah, don't open these bags, not unless you're ready to, because it gives you, like, maybe seven seeds or plants randomly. So you don't want to fill up your inventory with those. You just leave it as is until you need it. But it is random. You can get anything out of there. No, not any anything. There's some stuff it's not allowed to give you because that will be real game-breaking, maybe. 
like hard mode stuff. Is there any hard mode plants? Hmm. That's a good question. Oh, another strange plant right here. You can tell strange plants they stick out. I made sure to re recognize all of them because I like dying my character with some crazy looking dyes later on. Alright, let's keep on. Let's head down this cave. Let's see what we can find down here. I say, even though this episode didn't have a huge amount of stuff in it, I got this sword. I, I was pretty successful, I would think. May not have a lot of exploration happen in it, but. I explained to you guys this sword. See, I was going to save it until I found the actual cave entrance, which is not an always thing. But I was lucky for you guys, and there you go. So always when you see that, you saw how that looked. When you look at that cave, it's a, like a straight down, one block wide hole that goes straight down. And then I'll have side bits that come off of it. Yeah, that right there is a for sure sign that there's a sword in the stone. But it's not guaranteed that you'll get a sword, though. Just let you guys know. And it's even worse to get the uh, Arcalis. It seems like every chest I get, I'll find one thing, go to the next chest, and it's the exact same thing again. But I did get some shine potions. This will allow light around you. It's not very great, but it works. And let's go ahead and like these. Kill this zombie. Oh, they look at that damage. I'm just taking these guys out. Two hits. Worth so worth it get out of here nobody wants you ah giant tree with no entrance it'll be hollow right here with a door or just be hollow and it'll go down and i'll have a chest down here but the last several times i've started a new character on terraria i've been unlucky to not get anything in the trees giant trees come here and all the bait likes to fly as far up as possible. Yeah, bugs and stuff and animals you catch with a net. You can either... It's just bugs you can use as bait. Or you can put them in like an aquarium looking thing. And keep them. So if you have a bug collection. If you like that kind of thing. Go down. Oh, see what I just found right here guys. See the straight line? What if we get two enchanted swords or an Ar Arcalis? I've never gotten the Arcalis before. Let's seal this off here. All right, we are going to head down. We're going to find out if there's anything in this. But first, let's seal it off so no zombies can fall down on our heads. Let's put a torch down. All right, here we go, guys. Are we ever going to be getting that lucky where we find two enchanted swords or even Arcalis? That'll be crazy. Well, this is a deep one, too. I've been lucky. See, that the entrances can be underneath it in this black stuff, so you can't even see it, even if you walk over it. Mine goes all the way to the surface. Maybe you guys get lucky that way, too. You find right on the surface. Oh, we're almost to the room. I think there is a way to tell if it's going to be a dud. And I think that one's a dud, guys. And I'll show you why. Dang it, man. Remember that last sword I found? This one? You notice it was colorful. That the hilt and the handle coming out of the stone had colors like blues and reds. This one's just brown. That means this one is a dud. It'll give you nothing. All right. So if it's brown, you just automatically know that it's like, nope, that's not going to give me anything. Nerd pole. Gotta learn nerd pulling. You won't do this deep in the caves. You can't because the background will not accept blocks or placement of blocks. So you can only do it close to the surface. Uh, let's head on. Oh, well, at least we did find another opening to one of those there might be more we still got the other side of the world and 
and sandstorm. Yeah, the sandstorm can be quite annoying. Come on, drop the rope, please. Police. Yeah, the sandstorm. Look, I can't even move over there. That sucks. Well, let's head back home. I feel a little safer since I got the Arcalis. Or not the Arcalis, the Enchanted Sword. Might be able to walk over to the old. Oh, there's another strange plant. Look at that. So sweet. Let's get this strange plant. Alright, we didn't do a huge amount in this episode, guys. But I think it was successful. I got this. Look at this amazing sword. This is awesome. And it's 24 damage. My last sword was only damage of 9. Look, 9. 24. Only 4% critical chance, but... This is only 4%, so it's about the same on that. Worth it, guys. We got lucky. Even though... Man, that disappointment. And all those other chests. I got umbrellas. Two of these. So two umbrellas, two of these. And three of these books, these. Three of these books. Let's go ahead and grab up this stuff. I don't need to grab up this stuff because, well, I don't have that much room in my chest. So let's leave it in here for now. Until I get... Well, let's go ahead and take that metal out of there. Where'd it go? There you go. Let's take that out of there. Let's take these out. Let's put those up. Put that up for now. I got some shurikens. This stuff comes in handy for fighting the first boss. Alright. Ten and all that junk. Let's put it in my chest. Quick stack. Quick stack allows you to put like items. Stack them on top of each other in here. So if you have like day blooms in here, day blooms in here, click quick stack, the day blooms here will go down in here and stack with the stack that's supposed to be with. Let's go ahead and turn these into bars. I might go ahead and make me. I'm not sure if I want to make the. Uh... I need pickaxe. Because there's that one. I want to get out of the ocean. I do need to make a fishing pole. Alright guys. I think we were successful in something today. It may be slow going. But we are getting somewhere. Every episode's a step forward. We'll try to do net more in the next episode. Only reason why I couldn't go any further was because that sandstorm it just stops you from moving completely. Because I have no movement uh, items on me. Like double jump or sprinting. Come on down. There you go. I'll farm these uh, fireflies for a bit so I have some kind of bait. When I start that next episode, pretty soon we're going to go to the ocean. We're going to make that trek all the way over. And if I catch this particular item, you'll see why it was so important to me. Alright guys. Uh, I'm going to call that the end of the episode. And if you like the episode and you'd like to support me and my family, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget that thumbs up gut button to definitely show your support. And uh, don't forget about that uh, notification bell so you can always keep up with my latest videos. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.